Hey everybody, Mental Fox here with another episode in my playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're here in uh, some guy's apartment. His last name was Eurodyne, and I've already forgotten his first name, but there's there's a picture or painting of him on the wall over there. We just saw Johnny sitting here. We gave control over to Johnny in the last episode, and uh, it sounds like Johnny and... Um, what the hell's this guy named? This Carrie. Carrie. Uh, they're going to get the band back together or something. That's kind of what it sounds like. Uh, now we're supposed to call Nancy. This is kind of weird because right before we came over here to uh, look up old Carrie, uh, I tried to do uh, this quest here where we call Bess Isis. And now we find out that Bess Isis was uh, or is Nancy who was in the band. And now we're supposed to call Nancy. This is just weird. I'm wondering how the game is going to handle this. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I guess let's call Nancy and see how this goes. Uh, Nancy? Uh, I mean, uh, Bess? Bess Isis? No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Want to talk to Bess? She's not here. Uh-huh. Call in from Carrie Eurodyne's residence, or when will she be back? Um... Will he re will she respond? Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Two days. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff. Story on Maelstrom. Uh oh. Call back next week or just watch the news. Anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Uh huh. Got a bad feeling, V. Yeah, me too. I think we better head to the Totentons. The Tottentans. Okay. Uh huh. Um. Okay. Enter the Tottentans. Just like some club that the those guys uh, hang out in. Um. Well, let's see. Is there a new new quest for this? No, or new text? No. Enter the Tottentans. Tottentans. Well, it's not giving me any directions on how to get there. I guess maybe we probably have to leave the building first. Uh, hopefully his security isn't going to give me a hard time walking out here. Uh, can we take his badass car? Over there? No, we can't. Well, that's too bad. There's two green dots over here. Okay, so... It's looking like his robots are green dots now, so that's good for us. Well, I guess we'll go back over here to the road and um, hop on a motorbike or something. Take us over to the Tottentans, or however he pronounced it. Do that. Okay, now let's see if we can see where it is on the map. No, it's still not telling, telling me where it is. It's just uh, over here. Well, I mean, there's a fast travel point right here, but I kind of want to ride around at night. Let's do that. Let's hop on. I tell you what, let's drive the uh, Caliburn. This is the car that is similar to uh, this other car here, I feel like. Um, maybe traffic won't be so bad tonight, and I'll actually be able to drive this thing around. Let's go for a drive. Of course, it seems like... I don't know, 90% of the time I get in a vehicle, I have to turn it around and go in the opposite direction. That's what it feels like. Oh, damn it! Of course there's a car right there. Smash into my awesome car. Road honking his horn at me. Huh? Some traffic up here. Oh, I gotta turn right. What was Nancy like back in the day? I used to think she was the only one who had her shit together. It turned out she was just hiding it well. Lived with some sick son of a bitch who beat her for two years. Oh gosh. Never said a word. Then threw the guy out their living room window one day. 80th floor or something. Damn. Not much left to clean up, probably. Uh, nope. Did seven months. 
once she got out, wasn't much left of her life to salvage either. Hmm. I wonder if I had fast traveled over here, if we would have gotten that little bit of conversation there. Whoa, it is pitch black dark here. Don't have any headlights? Good grief. What the hell, man? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah, I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Does this car have headlights? No, the car in front of us doesn't seem to have any lights on it either. Doggone it, jerk. Getting in my lane. You saw him. It's totally his fault. truck here. Why you stopped? This car handles pretty damn well, I'll tell you that. It doesn't fishtail like the motorcycle does. Assuming we hit a fire hydrant there. Didn't know that happened. That's kind of cool. Alright. Cut it out, controller. Yeah, we hit a fire hydrant. Well, that's the first time I've done that. That's kind of neat. Alright, let's enter the Totten Tan. starting to come together. Oh, yeah? How so? No media would ever go for the Totten Tans. Except Nancy. What do you think she was trying to prove? She's trying to expose the... Maelstrom. Hey, how's it going with Nancy? I don't know, dude. I just got here. Uh, let's see here. Holy shit, Henry's on board. Way to go. Check out a rehab of his own free will through the window. <laughs> Some nurse tried to stop us. At first, I thought she wanted an autograph, but she didn't even recognize me. Tell you the rest later. How's it going with Nancy? Uh, it's all under control. Yeah, totally under control. Not a problem. Everything's fine. That's what I like to hear, says Carrie Iridine. That's what I like to hear. Are these guys going to be hostile towards me? I guess not. Golly, it's dark in here and quiet. Hey, Come how's it going? On. Up you go. Come on, up you go. Nobody has anything they want to say to me? Alright, fine. Let's see if I care. It is so quiet in here. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Yo, bouncer. Like your style. Thanks, man. Minimalist. Uh huh. Used to have chrome just like that. Oh, cool. Hmm. He likes Start style. Start moving, too. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Five four. Hit, press the button. Well, my fingers are numb. All right, everything's fine. Can I knock this guy out? I cannot. Mercy is for the weak. I thought sleep was for the week. That was from uh, Skyrim. Hear that? Tonight is today. Our guides. Okay. This one I like. Uh huh. Okay. It's a long way to the third floor. Later. Later. Go on. You'll blend in. No problem. I'll blend in. I can't even see you, Johnny. This is so dark. Oh my gosh. These voice that's fucking charisma. And what did that do for us? Fuck. No fucking way. What? Remember that tape from all foods? 
Uh, that's the Jew who did Royce. That's me. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be that stupid to show up here. You the one. Yeah. Looking for Bess Isis. Looking for Bess Isis. Guess I gotta spell it out. You the one took out Royce. Uh, yeah. Yeah? What? Anyone actually boohoo when he went? Look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! That's the All Foods part. I'm not blind! What do you want? Cool. Watch so, you in charge around here? You the one in charge now? No. A lot's changed since Royce went, but not that much. Okay. Well, I'm looking for Bess Isis. Bess Isis? Mean anything to you? You work with her? No. Just gotta talk. Heard she's here. She's here, but you talk to Brick first. Let's call what happens to you. I'll take you. Okay. So Brick's in for Royce now. Yeah, heard what happened at All Foods. Probably thinking Brick will be grateful, huh? What, now we disappoint you? No, and Brick's not in a position to demonstrate feelings of any kind. I'm not sure what that means. You mean we don't give a fuck what people think? Okay, then let's say extreme music. What's that mean to you? Look, lady, you keep trying to slap a label on us. No, I'm trying to understand you. Chaos, long noise, distortion. This place is cool. Got another guest. Hey, what a surprise. Kind of. That's <laughs> it. Huh? Looks like I'm interrupting. Wrapping up, actually. Bessie has overstayed her welcome. Yet I still haven't gotten answers to all my questions. Make something up. You're a journalist. Should be second nature. Say it's an orgy of noise or whatever. Mm hmm. Seems like uh, your peeps are still mad at me. Seems your people are holding the grudge. <laughs> hold those better than they hold their iron. Show a little understanding. Try not to piss them off. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm not strong enough to say should up the security on the Ebonike. That was the boat that we uh, explored earlier when we were looking for. Now what? Uh, somebody. So anyway, Kerry Uridine sent me. Kerry Uridine sent me, with some biz for Bess. Kerry? Did he suddenly remember I exist? You can go. Huh? Just like that? I ask you. No, that's what I thought. Trying to run a business here. Thanks, Brick. That was enlightening. Let's go. Let's Delta. Uh, appreciate it? Okay. Appreciate it. Thanks. Alright, let's leave the totem dance. Now this place is cool. A lot of people in here. Yeah, this, is, this actually looks like a club. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, let's leave. If I could find my way out of here. It's so dark. Oh, there's Nancy. We'll just follow her out. She knows the way out. She's got a jacket that says "bitch" on it. It seems all right. Sure. Just too bad he doesn't know squat about music. That's what you wanted to talk to him about. Yeah. Tinnitus, the Totentan sound. What I got out of brick was scop. Why is the elevator so damn slow in this dump? Cars outside. Okay. I guess I gotta press the button again. 
So what? Giving up on your story? I won't learn anything about Maelstrom's music. Got lots of footage. Need to look through it, see what I can patch together. I think her shirt says burn corpo shit on it. Right? She's not very talkative. Maybe once we get in her car, she'll talk to us a little bit more. Okay, come on. Fuck. Just hope the car's still where I parked it. Yeah, you never know in this neighborhood. Brick was the safe option. Really should have talked to the asses from Tinnitus. You got some sort of in with them? Brick invited me to one of their gigs. Problem is the lineup. Changes every time. <laughs> Look like just a bunch of DJs. rain falling out here. Well, look at this little car. Oh, it's like a maelstrom car. Oh, for fuck's sake! Could have been worse. Well, they tagged it. Okay. <laughs> this way you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Want to talk? Gotta come with me. Alright, let's Call go. Like this. Hope it gets us there in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny. Alright, so what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna... Hmm, gonna stand in for Johnny or Giggy? What? Well, I'm gonna stand in for him, basically. I'll play for Johnny. <laughs> you. Let's just say Silverhand was more visionary than musician. I got this. Trust me. Well, if you got Carrie on board, what's in it for me? Hmm, uh, get to meet up with some old friends, or you and Carrie can decide that. Oh, uh, you guys can decide that. <laughs> That's for you and Carrie to figure out. I'll be sure to ask him. How do you know, Brick? Saved his life once. Well, well. Ever thought about joining Trauma Team? <laughs> Whoa. Ho oh, oh. ho. Okay, I thought we were going to ram right into that car. This car sounds like it's going really fast, but... Probably just because of the small engine. I used to drive a Chevette a long time ago. It had a teeny tiny engine in it. And it always felt like you were going really fast because the engine, the small engine revved real high. And um, <laughs> it was a bucket of bolts, man. It would just rattle like crazy. So it just had this like illusion of going really fast even though you were going like 45 miles an hour. view of the city here. Looks like, I don't know if all of the streets, but a lot of the streets look like they actually have names. I wonder if there's like, I would imagine there is an actual like map of the city, like a, like a Google street map or something of the city online. I mean, yeah, you could look at the map in the game, but it doesn't show the street names and stuff. I wonder if there's a map that actually shows the street names and such. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. We're here. Rockstar parking. All right, so, the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Oh, that okay, was it. thanks. We didn't even talk. That's it? We well, really didn't have to ride all the way back here. Now call Carrie. Call Carrie. All right, fine. I'll call Carrie. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nance? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. 
Still a control freak. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you tracked down the rest of the band? Managed to contact Henry or Danny? Just Henry so far. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? Get him play with us, aren't you? Gotta meet the others. Send you the address. All right, let's go to Denny's mansion. Can't take Nancy's car. So this is the first uh, I've played of this game since the 1.23 patch. I don't know what changes have been made. I didn't read about them, but um, I don't know. I feel like I'm already seeing differences. Don't know if they're related to the patch or not. But like, you know, we hit that fire hydrant and water sprayed up. Seems like I would have run over a fire hydrant earlier in the game, so I don't know if that's new or not. It's probably not. I just probably haven't done it before. And then, um, like these uh, shadows here. Like you can see the shadow of my body there on the building. That's kind of cool. I don't know whether I've seen that happen before, but that's very well done. He's going to hang out here, Nance. Be in touch. Okay, that's all she has to say. Well, we need to go 1.3 kilometers in that direction, so let's go ahead and call ourselves another car. Uh, let's see here. What if we drove... Um, hmm. We don't have that many cars. I need to get me some more cars. I don't think we've actually driven this car. Let's see what happens if we drive this thing. I still feel like the cab should take me there. I mean, it is a cab after all. Hey, I'm facing the right direction this time. How about that? Oh, this thing's kind of like a land yacht. Wait a minute. Okay. It's very floaty. It's a big different, a big difference from the car we were just driving. I like that one better. <laughs> nice move, turning left from the right lane there, buddy. Place called Fourth Wall there. What are you doing? Oh, get out of the way. So many reasons why riding a motorcycle through the town is better. Hub. It's a cool looking city, man. There's not a lot of traffic coming the other direction. This car hops all over the place. Here we go. See those? Oh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Okay. 
So I guess he was talking about... He said, see those. I guess he meant the tire tracks here. Now let's try the intercom. One thing we could do is we could um, take over control of this camera and look around inside. Talk about something about maybe she's renovating and somebody improvised. Ah, oh, man, this is the only camera there is. Unfortunately, we can't take control of any other cameras. That's too bad. All right, let's try the intercom then. Right then. Guess we keep looking. All right, let's find Denny and Henry. I'm going to follow the dotted line here. Tire tracks. A, a Caucas 24 ton distinct tire tracks from a heavy truck. All right, let's follow, follow the tire tracks. That car. What's the benefit of having two axles in the front like that? Got another one of these cool cars back here. See, Carrie beat us here. That's Carrie's car. All right. Oh, what's going on over here? She's holding a bat. Now well, there's Denny, and there's Henry. This here is indeed Carrie's car. Drove right through the wall here. You fucking got? Who boy? Denny, what? Sounds sadly familiar. What are you doing here? This is really Denny. your house? Uh, good you're here. This we is your problem. fucking pool? You're gonna pay for this, you piece of shit! You bet I will! Whoa. Just so I can come back again! Big cement truck. Maybe then, you'll tell me why the hell you left me to die in the street! Left you to die? Ugh, I wish you would fucking die! Why am I even standing here talking to you? Get the fuck out! Alright, you guys need to calm what, down. now? Already? No grand tour? Introduce me to the fam! Go anywhere near them and you're dead! I kid you not, I'ma whack your fucking head off! Oh, what? They don't know? Don't know what? That I lost years of my life to a scop bag like you? Yeah? <laughs> Fuck. Is that how you remember it? Remember a hell of a lot more than you. All right, quite a conversation there. So there's the truck that left the tracks. Let's view of the hills back there. Cool place. Nice pool here. Is this your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. It's about the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Uh, Carrie felt awkward about coming? He's sitting right over there. Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, we're getting the band back together. We'll bring it back samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet. But no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny! No, no way. Either him or me. Choose. Danny digs in her heels. We're done. Huh. How's it going? Like shit, man. Danny wants me out of the gig. And we already agreed on everything. What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Hmm, huh, okay. Let's see here. Actually, it's your decision. Uh, maybe if I knew the story. The fuck you do this to her pool Got for? On your mind, v? Looks like we'll be missing one person. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe if you tell me the whole story. Maybe if someone would tell me what happened. 
Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement. Oh, maybe he had a good reason. Really? A reason? Mm-hmm. Well, what did you do this to her pool for, Henry? You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew Carrie wanted to get Danny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air. Fucking Prem. Huh, okay. Well, uh, Johnny, it's your decision, man. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. <laughs> Real helpful. Well, maybe we'll be missing somebody. We gotta go without one or the other. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else for one gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Henry's kind of a jerk. He uh, well, filled her pool with the plan? concrete. So let's play with Danny. Screw you, Henry. Ugh, if we gotta choose, let's play with Danny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you. You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. Hmm. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. So, okay, that's it. Nice to see you again. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Good luck. Jeez. Okay, about all we can do for now. Except to wait for Nancy to call. Now we're waiting for Nancy to call again. I got Nancy calling me for two different quests. Um. Okay, second conflict. Hmm. Okay. Over here, we got a baseball bat sticking out of the concrete. Yo, everything okay, Denny? Everything okay? No, just the sight of that douche water reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry, though. I'll be past it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So his fault after all. Well, normally, Denny's not a raging bitch. <laughs> We're pretty sure she knew Henry wanted this concert. Hmm, doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a bitch to clean up. A lot of concrete for one truck, though. So we got a book here, Caroli's new security bot line. I'm pretty sure we already read that one. We got more reading material over here. This one, Slavage McAllister in the news again. I, read, I know we read that. Well, we're just supposed to wait a day for Nancy's call for this quest. Let's take a look at our quests. We got this one called A Like Supreme. Wait a day for Nancy's call. Then we have this one, Killing in the Name. Complete other jobs until Bess Isis, a.k.a. Nancy, is available to call. So, I'm waiting for Nancy's call one way or the other. So, um, yeah. We're waiting... We're waiting, we're waiting. Can we go look around inside of her house? No, it's locked. Hey, uh, Denny, can I look around your place? I just want to check it out, you know? I just kind of have a thing for, you know, seeing people's mansions. Oh, come on, you gotta let me in. Oh, come on, game, don't be like that. Come on now, you, you both know we want to get in here. There we go. Alright. Whoa. I think I just ruined her feather pillow. See a nice view of the hills? Too bad that thing's there blocking the view. You can kind of see inside. There's her bedroom there. Hmm. Locked. I'm not going to be able to get inside, am I? More reading material here. 
Eurodyne, the unauthorized biography. Unsurprisingly, Samurai never achieved major commercial success because the voice that directed the group's trajectory was that of Dem demagogue frontman Silverhand rather than that of Eurodyne, whose main aspiration was the pursuit of the music itself. Silverhand never possessed grand ambitions for creative expression. Instead, he was hell-bent on a personal path of devastation. These destructive tendencies had significant influence on Carrie and persisted long after the Arasaka Tower attack and Johnny's disappearance. Only following an extended hiatus did Eurodyne prove to the world his creative potential. He captured the imaginations and hearts of thousands of fans, securing him a spot in the company of music's legends. Nice. The city's over there. Man, I love being able to jump high. Sure is fun. So, I gotta say, this is not how I would have designed the house. I mean, I would have put something up here. You know? I mean, look at this. Up on top, got this amazing view of the city here. Come on. How do you just turn your back on the city like that? Uh, directly beneath this, there's probably a room with windows that look at the city, but this is great. I mean, nothing wrong with looking at the hills, but I gotta look over at the city, too. Yeah, yeah, you can see there's big old windows there that do face the city. So at least they've got that. Man, reading material all over the freaking place, man. This one's called Corporate Wars the Musical. We've already read that one. Over here, we've got uh, an OS1 Gimlet Eye Scope. I like that you could see inside every place. That makes me think that at some point, we're going to be able to walk around inside. Somebody left some reading material here. Lizzy Wizzy. Oh, buddy, she's got it all locked up, so we're not getting in there. Well, complete other jobs until Bess is available to call one way or the other. This one says complete other jobs. This one says wait a day. Uh, convertible. It's pretty sweet. Got a nice big two-car garage there. And, um, guess that's Henry sitting there, huh? Henry. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, sorry it played out like that. That's it? That's it. I'm trying to look at what the tattoo is there. I can't quite make it out. That's it. Sorry, so sorry, sayonara. Well, let's look at the map. I don't know, we gotta do something to pass the time. Ooh, a tarot card right down the road here. Yo. It's it. Is it a Carrie Eurodyne's residence? I don't know, let's see what's down the road here. I'll just walk. Try not to get hit by a car. What's going on here? Huh, what place is this? What's that symbol? Who are these people? Just some residents. Benedict Baikov. What's up? What are you guys hanging out here for? That's a scary looking dude, gee whiz. Good, well, at least that's over with. How was the interview? Bearable? That a serious question? <laughs> okay, you got me. Hmm, what's up? Uh, all good. 
Hmm, I guess. You have nothing better to do? Oh, suddenly she has an accent. Okay. So whose place is this? Surveillance camera. Let's control it. There's me. There's those peeps. Whoa, look how many cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cameras? What is this place? What the? Huh. Huh. I can't seem to, uh, there we go. Switch to this camera. Okay, I can only look at these two cameras. That's funny. Yeah, I can't switch to the others. Uh, so there's a tarot card in that direction. Who's this guy? Oh, he's got a weapon. What is this place? I should know what this place is, shouldn't I? I should know what that symbol is, but I don't. Alright, we don't want to go in there where that guy could see me. Oh, here we go. Huh. Wolves ha only howl at night. Okay, this is a tarot card. Really? Okay. Let's take a look at the tarot cards, I guess. The moon? Is this the one we just got? The moon reminds us that reality is not always what it seems at first glance. In a world of appearances and illusions, the best course is often charted by one's own intuition. The moon is also the card of dreams, desires, and of course, sleep. Death's nightly ritual. Okay, that's pretty cool. Although, normally, the graffiti that we see looks like this, whereas in this case, it really doesn't look like that, does it? So we found the graffiti, found the tarot card, but what is this place? I'm curious about this. I mean, I'm sure the game's going to send me here at some point, but um, I'm curious about it now. I think this is a little higher than I can jump. Oh, but no, it's not. Whoa, I'm in. Oh, crap. It's a hostile area. I have no business being in here. You get this dude over here. A soldier. Yep, Arasaka. Okay. So the symbol is an Arasaka symbol. I thought that might be what it is, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't say anything. So we got this guy here. Could do a ping on him and see if he has any friends. Okay, yeah, we got a dude over there. One over there. Not much else, really. There's a guy up there. Soldier. <laughs> I have no business being here at all. So where's the actual house? Is that in that direction? Let's, let's look at the map and see where we are. Yeah, it's hard to see any buildings. I mean, is this the building over here? I mean, or is this... See, there's a fast travel point and it's called Carrie Urodyne's Residence. So one of these buildings is Carrie's place, I guess. And then freaking Denny lives right here. And there's a cool building back here, too. So I guess this is the building over here. Oh, crap. I have no business being here. I really should leave, but I'm just curious. Oh, man, I'm stuck. See if we get closer to the building. This guy up here who's gonna be a problem. Okay, he's decided to turn around then. Way up there. John Stevens. There's a sniper. That's neat. There's like a bridge going across here. <laughs> Cool place. Sniper up there. There we go. There's a camera. What are we looking at here? What is this place? There's a dude over there. Special agent. 
Looking inside the building here a little bit. Next camera. It's a big... Oh, cool. That thing flying overhead there. Neat. Man, so much for privacy. Good grief. Thing flying so close you could look right in. A nice place. But who lives here? There's a gun over there. Some ammo there. Here we're looking nice outside area. Cool view of the city, the more industrial part of the city. A couple dudes there. Kitchen area. So when we'd find a laptop or something that I could hack into from the camera. But that does not seem to be happening here. Well, I don't know who lives here. Haven't been able to get a look at him. hallway. Whoa! What was that? Somebody see the camera or did somebody see me? Maybe somebody saw my saw me kneeling down looking at the cameras. Oh that's cool. Well Pretty neat. Alright, well, I have no business being here. I just came here because I was nearby. So, I'm going to go ahead and hide down here in these bushes and end this episode. When we come back next time, I'm not sure what we'll do. I may just pass the time and wait for Nancy to call back since we're up here. may very well do that because I don't think that there's a whole lot for us to do up here, really. Or maybe I'll try to go over here and see what this is. Just, just out of curiosity, just do a little bit of exploring. I don't know, man. Come back next time and find out. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Let me like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.